Imagine stepping into a lush lowland rainforest filled with waterfalls, tropical birds, and thousands of exotic and rare plants. Imagine strolling through a serene Japanese garden as irises rise elegantly to meet the warm rays of the sun. Imagine walking through an enchanting garden and smelling the sweet fragrance of hundreds of roses. Welcome to the Missouri Botanical Garden, a national historic landmark where one can gaze in wonderment and awe at one of the world's largest collections of plants and flowers. Located in the heart of St. Louis, the Missouri Botanical Garden is the oldest private botanical garden in continuous operation in the United States. The garden was opened in 1859 by Henry Shaw, an Englishman with an avid interest in botany and gardening. Today, the 79-acre horticultural display is considered to be one of the world's leading centers for botanical exploration and research. One of the points about the garden that's not obvious but is very interesting is that we have a herbarium, a collection of dried plants for study, which amounts to nearly six million specimens, one of the very largest in the world, and one of the finest libraries of books about plants also. Since the names of plants are valid in the order of priority, the earliest one wins, having a historical library like that has a special significance and we're very fortunate to have one of the finest libraries in the world. One of the most recognizable icons of the Missouri Botanical Garden is the Climatron Conservatory. Built in 1960, the Climatron is the world's first geodesic dome greenhouse. Visitors can walk the winding paths of the dense rainforest under glass, complete with waterfalls, Amazonian fish, tropical birds, and a myriad of exotic plants. There's the double coconut, a rare and endangered palm native to the Seychelles Islands off the east coast of Africa, bearing the largest and heaviest seed of any plant, weighing up to 50 pounds. Cycads are some of the oldest plants known. They flourished when dinosaurs roamed the earth. Some of the Climatron cycads were shown at the 1904 World's Fair. The Old Man Palm is a plant from Cuba that is named for its scraggly white beard of fibers. In late 2005, the Missouri Botanical Garden dedicated a beautiful garden in honor of George Washington Carver. He was a very religious man and a philosopher who applied his principles to the improvement of plants for the agriculture in the South and throughout the United States. Tower Grove House Henry Shaw's country residence was built here at the garden in 1849, early days for St. Louis, three miles outside of the city. And in Tower Grove House is presented a museum of the house as it looked during the time when Henry Shaw lived there, increasingly from 1849 until his death in 1889. Fascinating to see how people lived in the middle of the 19th century. In early 2006, the Missouri Botanical Garden is opening a beautiful new children's garden, Doris I. Schnook Children's Garden, over two acres. It's a 19th century Missouri theme. We'll have a town square, a walk going through the tops of the trees, a fort, just about everything you could imagine to provide a lot of fun for our younger visitors. Sewa N. Garden of Pure, Clear Harmony and Peace is one of the largest Japanese botanical gardens in the nation. Designed in traditional form, the main feature of Sewa N is the four acre lake which brings in water, a principal design element in Japanese gardens. Other outstanding displays include Chinese, English woodland, and Victorian gardens. Over 4,000 trees call the Missouri Botanical Garden home, including some rare and unusual varieties and a few stately specimens which date back to the 19th century. The Missouri Botanical Garden isn't just a lovely, relaxing place to visit. It's an educational center for the young and old, where important plant science is conducted behind the scenes and abroad. The Kemper Center for Home Gardening is the nation's most comprehensive resource center for gardening information. It includes 23 residential scale demonstration gardens. 
And we have one of the largest programs in research into the classification of plants that's conducted anywhere in the world. A large community of scholars and people who work constructively with their counterparts in many countries in South America, in Madagascar, in Africa, helping in each case to learn about the plants there, to bring that knowledge into bear for the betterment of the conditions of the people who live there and for trying to help them attain sustainability in these far-flung areas. It's an exciting program and one that's really worldwide in scope. The garden is a popular year-round destination for visitors of all ages. It can play host to a beautiful, unique wedding setting. Families can enjoy some cherished time together while walking through the many gardens. And you're sure to earn some bonus points if you bring a date to the garden. What's more romantic than flowers? Schools looking for field trip ideas will find the interactive educational sites a perfect way to teach their students about preserving nature's bounty. We have about 35,000 family members in the garden and what's really surprising in its enthusiasm and in its scope is about 2,000 active volunteers, people who come in at least once a week. So St. Louisans have always been involved in the garden and are always ready to show it off to their visitors at the earliest opportunity. What began as one man's homage to nature has since grown into one of the world's foremost research and educational centers. If you would like to learn more about the Missouri Botanical Garden, call 1-800-642-8842 or log online to www.mobot.org.